back to the Diabetic Diet Show. Today we're going to do a mix pesto sauce and also talk about making it from scratch. Getting started with the mix, it comes in a package like this. And it comes two ways. This one here is a pesto sauce. There's also pesto alfredo. These are great for weeknights when you need to make something in a hurry. But of course there is another way to go about it. And that is to make it from scratch. So pesto is just oregano, pine nuts, oil, water, and then you can put in other stuff if you want. You can put in garlic and things like that. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the package. So all I have to do is open this package. Put it in the pan. For water, you just take your measuring cup and you want to do three quarters of a cup of water. Then, for oil, you do one cup. And you bring it up to one cup because you're using a quarter of a cup of oil and three quarters of a cup of water. Pour this in the pan. Use a fork or a whisk. Mix it up. Bring it to a boil. When it starts to boil, put the cover on it. Simmer it for five minutes. Okay, on that, I'm going to put a lid on the pesto. You don't have to worry about that. I have the pasta and the pesto all set and ready to go. Looks real good. I'm just going to bring out the plates. Looks real good. Mix up some pesto. I like to keep stirring it. I just use a little whisk. Sometimes use that same one for instant potatoes. There we go. And then some chives on top. And then if you want, you can put some cheese on it. Usually I grade my own cheese, but because I'm doing everything today as a fast meal, I've bought bags of cheese. So this is mozzarella. This one here is a mix, and it is a four cheese blend. It has uh, Monterey, Jack, Cheddar, um, and uh, a couple others that I can't pronounce. This is usually like a taco mix, but it's pretty good. 
So, and then I have some Kobe Jack. So we'll be picking the type that we want. Okay, everything is all done. I want to put some cheese on mine. Just like that. So this is what the pasta looks like, with or without cheese. Here's your salad. Here's your rolls for dessert. All you have to do with the salad is add your favorite dressing. We're all set. Thanks for joining us. Come back next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Also click on the bell so when we drop a new video you get notified. And if you want to get the ingredients and the details and the times of the cooking, go to our website, which is on blogspot.com. So it's jamestdds.blogspot.com. Thanks for joining us. Come back soon.